Compartment syndrome. Compartment syndrome is an increased pressure in a closed space or a compartment, which will result in decreased perfusion and ischemia to the muscles and nerves. This may cause irreversible damage to the contents of that closed space. Eventually, it may lead to Volkmann ischemic contracture. So what happens when the blood flow is decreased? At the muscle level, ischemia for four hours can cause damage, but reversible. Compartment syndrome for four to six hours will cause variable ischemia, and for eight hours will cause irreversible damage. That's why it's surgical emergency. How about nerve ischemia? Compartment syndrome for one hour, you will have normal conduction velocity. For one to four hours, it can cause irreversible damage. For eight hours, it will cause irreversible damage. Causes of compartment syndrome. Increased volume, like hemorrhage inside the muscle or a swelling. You can see that in fractures, like fractured tibia or forearm. The muscle injury will cause edema and that will increase the volume inside the compartment. Another cause is decrease the volume of the compartment by a tight cast or tight dressing. High index of suspicion is necessary to diagnose compartment syndrome. You will go over the history and you will do physical exam. You will find there is pain out of proportion to the pain expected from the injury or from the surgery. The pain is getting worse and not relieved by analgesics. You will find tense swelling. Pain with passive stretch of the compartment. Paralysis and no pulse are late findings. It indicates that the damage may be irreversible. You could measure the pressure. There will be increase in an absolute pressure, which is 30 millimeter mercury or the pressure will be within 30 millimeter of the diastolic pressure. The highest pressure usually at five centimeter from the injury or the fracture. I usually measure all four compartments. How do you treat that? Remove the bandage and the dressings and split the cast. Examine the patient. Once the diagnosis is established, you need to do full compartment fasciotomy. You can do that through the classic two incisions, or you can do it through one incision. All four compartments must be released. Must do the fasciotomy urgently. You should do it in the operating room, but if necessary, you can do bedside fasciotomy. If you do an incision, leg fasciotomy, this is how we do it. The initial skin incision is made halfway between the tibia and the fibula. Release the anterior compartment and the lateral compartment. The superficial posterior compartment is located and released after retracting the perineal muscles anteriorly. A cup or a retractor may be used for this purpose. The deep posterior compartment is released by retracting the tibialis anterior muscle laterally from the tibia, then incising the interosseous membrane.
When you feel the posterior aspect of the tibia, that means that the posterior compartment is released and entered. Thank you for listening. I hope that was helpful.